single cone obturation, advantages and limitations. Now, we all know that the end of a root is always the apical foramen. But this apical foramen is not the only exit to these lateral canals are mostly present in the apical three millimeters of the root canal which has the highest percentage of lateral canals and deltas. So it is imperative that we think about this region mostly. Our goal really is to instrument the root canal, debride it, but after that there will be a thick layer of smear layer. And this is full of debris and bacteria occluding the dentinal tubules. We have to clean this smear layer so that the surface becomes so clean, the dentinal tubules opened, opened and uh, now we can put this uh, sealer and gutta percha. Gutta percha. It is a tree of the genus Palaquium in the family of Saputaci. It was discovered in the 1600s, introduced in the 1800s to medicine. They made it as uh, uh, gutta percha cones in 1867, and in 1925, the combination of the uh, cones with the sealer were introduced, so it's around about a hundred years ago. There are many types of obturation, but the goal is to obturate the apical region, and we don't need we don't need to see such areas unfilled because they will be filled with uh, bacteria, and reinfection might happen. So it's imperative that we think of obturation as a three-dimensional obturation from the coronal region to the middle, which may have isthmi, which is a connection between the canals and the epical region with all its variations. So this is our goal after a But root canal morphology is very difficult to predict as we can see here by this study by Jardel Francisco, who showed that we've got a, a lot of variations in the pulp anatomy. So we've got many obturation techniques. We have the lateral canal uh, condensation, vertical condensation, carrier-based single cone, and bioceramics. Lateral condensation, we taught our students and we're still teaching them lateral condensation, but really, as we can see here, we've got the main cone with auxiliary cones, but there are areas filled by sealer and there are areas like these unfilled. So the, uh, this technique might give us a poor uh, prognosis. Vertical condensation technique, as you can see here, there are many armamentarium and many steps to obturate the root canal. Single cone technique was introduced after the rotary instrumentation research dealing with single cone obturation is increasing by the year as we can see here that there is a great trend of interest to uh, of the dentists to single cone obturation 
This is a study by Naji Kharufa or Kharuf et al, who stated that when I place my single cone, the gutta percha volume will account to 51 to 72 percent of the internal volume of the pulp canal. That means I've got sealer in about 28 to 49 percent, which is really quite a lot because we know that sealer is resorbable and we may have voids in the uh, as we can see here this is the buccal view of an obturation but the mesial view shows many voids this is another buccal view of another tooth who uh, they may uh, they placed two cones of gutta percha but as we can see here that still we've got voids spaces of sealer we this is another study that uh, studied the the uh, uh, cones made uh, uh, for certain rotary systems like the Protaper Universal, One Shape, Reciproc, Protaper Next, Twisted File, and Wave 1, we can see that there is still a lot of sealer around this single cone. So, in this case, it's not just uh, in, in the cone, in, in the gutta percha cone is filling the majority of the uh, volume of the root canal, but still sealer has a good volume. That's why it is stated by Jasmine Tehran that the single cone obturation technique may not be suitable for complex canal anatomy. So why this trend towards single cone obturation? First of all, we've got too many instruments. These are instruments, pluggers and spreaders of different sizes. We have to use them in the lateral condensation technique and the vertical. Too many devices that may be expensive. Too many materials like the master cones, auxiliary cones, sealers. Too many steps and too much time and cost needed. So, bioceramic was introduced in the root canal obturation uh, uh, step and it is really composed of silicates, calcium and phosphates. It is bioact bioactive, biodegradable and bioinert. So this is bioceramic. That means it is biocompatible and we can use it. There are many sealers that are bioceramic based, many uh, and different brands. And this sealer will be uh, between the gutta percha cone and the dentine. But still, we may see voids. But the bioceramic sealers proved that they have got certain advantages. While most of the sealers, when they set, they have shrinkage, you may see bioceramic having expansion. And this is really very important because it decreases the amount of space left after setting of the sealer. Because when we do a, uh, a sectioning to the, to the uh, root canal, we may see that the, uh, the gutta percha will account to only part of the volume of the, of the root canal. And as we can see here, these remote areas are filled solely by the sealer. This is an isthmus between the two canals and filled only by sealer.
it is the placement of sealer is in the middle or the sorry the coronal half of the root canal then we agitate it by a lentula then we place our single cone so it is imperative to use bioceramic sealers with single cones because we want them to have an expansion and decrease the amount of space then we remove the excess solubility is a different story any root canal sealer will exhibit solubility because it's a paste but it should not be more than three percent but in this study it showed that bio root and total fill they've got 11 to 13 percent solubility that is way too much more than the acceptable limit so it's important even when i choose bioceramic sealers to search and see what is the solubility percentage of this another study by Naji Kharouf who stated that Sierra Seal has got around about 10.7% uh, and Bioroot 12.7% that's why it indicates that the single cone technique is rather technique sensitive and it depends on the type of sealer that we are using Another type is the thermoplasticized gutta percha cones, or namely thermophil. These are cones of plastic coated by gutta percha. It is softened, and as we go, uh, in, uh, the, the gutta percha uh, enters inside the canal, there will be a vertical and horizontal pressure on the walls of the root canal pushing sealer into the and as we can see here that the sealer has been pushed into lateral canals the procedure of thermal obturation is uh, uh, verifying the the master cone size drying the then placing the appropriate cone inside the oven the aperture and placing it in immediately inside the inside the canal removal of the cone so you can see that the lateral condensation technique has got many steps many cones needed until we reach such um, step but when we use thermophil we need only a single cone in uh, every so here the thermophil can be used for managing diff difficult root canals for example this very difficult uh, and rare case whereby I've got two canals then merging in one then dividing to two now it is very difficult to obturate this uh, system root canal system with any other uh, technique other than thermophil we use the first thermophil soft gutta percha to obturate this region and then we use the other one to obturate the uh, uh, the other canal this is a, a case whereby i've got isthmi in the epical middle and um, cerv uh, cervical uh, area and this is due to the lateral pressure of the gutta percha soft gutta percha that pushed the sealer to this 
healing. This is a case whereby I've got three lesions around this molar because our uh, thermophore will give us a three-dimensional uh, obturation. You can see that the spaces are less and there will be an obturation, obturation a good obturation uh, and there will be initiation of this is a big lesion and after obturation and slight sealer extrusion you can see that the uh, there is a good healing lateral canals being filled two laterally positioned foramina these uh, cases are only obturated by thermophore and soft curvatures like for this uh, for example this very difficult case was it was uh, introduced to me it had fractured screw it was removed by ultrasonics removal of gutta percha by pro, tra uh, pro taper retreatment kit then opening the sclerotic calcified canal and obturating by thermophile and you can see the 90 degrees curvature of the apical area these curvatures were obturated by thermophile of course bioceramic can be used as an apical plug when we've got uh, the apical foramen that is very wide as we can see here this area the epical foramen is very wide so three millimeters of the epical region uh, is uh, plugged by MTA and then the rest of the gutta percha fills the rest of the root healing of trifurcation lesions with biodentine this was a case of good endodontic tr uh, treatment but the uh, dentist uh, had a perforation here so all I did is place biodentine and after a while you can see the good healing that happened to the bone another thing is what we call revascularization here initiation of bleeding blood from the periapical region that takes with its stem cells that goes in the root canal because of the wide apex and blood clot will stay here antibiotics is placed in the root canal to uh, disinfect the area then after that MTA is placed we can see this is the MTA color plug blood clot and after a while a start of the narrowing of the canal and start of healing and this is really the uh, um, this, the new thing uh, new thing in in the dentics and it is a regeneration and revascularization and we have started doing these cases even in Iraq nowadays now I urge you to uh, uh, join the Iraqi Endodontic Society. We've got uh, uh, lectures with international speakers that is around about uh, weekly or every two weeks. Uh, I urge you to uh, post cases of yours, maybe questions. Uh, I hope that uh, uh, you uh, join us. And if uh, in, in, in you have the time, I've got a channel of YouTube that has got many lectures re related to dentistry and uh, in the in, in, in particular. You and uh, I've got uh, many cases uh, published by Endodontic Practice UK. Many of my difficult cases were published. And of course, this is my one of my international teachers, Professor uh, Yushi Teruchi, who was one of the uh, founders of Pro Taper Universal, 
and uh, Pro Taper Next, and he taught me uh, in uh, in Switzerland, and I was really honored that uh, I was one of the uh, international speakers in the uh, Arab uh, Indodontic Conference uh, with Professor Terucci and uh, Professor Castellucci, who taught us the uh, the um, glide path and the path files. And thank you very much.